The reason why I created this video was initially because I wanted to talk about why I enjoyed the dynamic campaign of Falcon MMS so much. And while I might do that in the future, I think my real intention was why does it work and why I think some other games have maybe come up a bit short. And that's why I wanted to talk about this because I know Eagle Dynamics is very talkative right now, or at least as talkative as they can be, uh, that they're interested in improving the game aspect of DCS. But I think to do that, we need to understand what we enjoy about it. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is I'm not entirely sure. And I think it's important that we distill what we enjoy. I think the biggest key success factor to a dynamic campaign is not that you're a small cog in a big war, it's that you feel that you're a small cog in a big war. And Falcon BMS does that amazing. And I think that's a very important distinction because if you're just a small cog in a big machine, at that point, I feel like you're just on a theme park ride. Um, and that's honestly kind of already what we have with the DCS campaigns. I think what we're looking for is the illusion that we're a small cog in a big machine, yet we still have impact as players for a good game experience. I want to be able to look out my cockpit and know that those airplanes right there are not there to make me entertained. It's the illusion that I'm just here doing my job. And I think there's a lot of games that attempt to do something somewhat dynamic and they miss that part and it falls short. An example would be IL-2, in my opinion, with their new career system. Adds great replayability to the game, it's still not... It, it missed the mark, in my opinion. And the reason why is because when I look at those planes out the cockpit, I know they're there because of me. And that's the thing. I mean, in BMS, of course they're there to make you have fun. Of course, that's what everything there is for. But you never... The illusion is never broken, though, to where you're constantly thinking about it. And that's, unfortunately, the reality of DCS and a lot of attempted games within flight simulation. In DCS, when I see a campaign unfolding, I feel like I'm just part of a theme park. I'm on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, watching the animatronics do their song and dance, and, you know, or like I'm at a theater and the curtains are open. I, I just see people rushing around, moving the set pieces, and it's distracting. I don't like it. But by putting up that curtain on that theater, the kind of orchestra going on in the background to make sure the player has fun isn't seen by the player. And that's why I think the illusion is just such a big part of a good game experience. And I think another aspect of that, which is in Falcon's favor, is the campaign map. And it's not for the reason you think. What I enjoy about that, it's almost like a second layer to the illusion. When you're flying around in the 3D world, your illusion's good. They nailed that. When you leave the game, you're still kind of in the world in a sense. Uh, you, you have the time running in the background. You can check your barracks to just see the list, all the pilots that have gone down, see who's ace of the base and stuff, and just these little things that keep you in the game, in the mindset, and doing stuff. Um, it, it does this amazing job at keeping you in the mindset and never letting you break from their illusion. And I think an example of where for instance, people are running around the background in Falcon BMS is the morale system. If you succeed in a mission, your coalition's morale goes up, enemies, I believe, goes down, uh, and the opposite happens in a failed mission. So that way, you as a player still have an impact on the game, but at the same time in BMS, that never really crosses my mind that that's going on. It's, again, hidden by that illusion. The biggest problem I see in most dynamic campaign attempts is that it breaks the illusion. You lose the illusion that you're in that small war. You see the animatronics waving back at you as if you're on a Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland. It's very uncanny. It's not fun to be in a situation where the enemies are just kind of animatronics. They're just there to please you and to surround you. And it's, again, not that they are doing that. It's that you know they're doing that. It's the illusion is broken. And I think that's kind of the point of this video. I'm trying my best to articulate and distill what I enjoy out of a campaign experience because it really seems like Eagle Dynamics is looking to shift their focus into the game design aspect, which is really refreshing to hear. And I think that the point of this video was to hopefully spark a discussion and at least present something to the community in a concise way for what I want from a campaign experience and maybe see what you guys want because at this point, R Blue Flag is really the only experience you can have for a good, immersive, ongoing war to lose yourself in. And single player, as we know, is probably the majority of players. And with that said, 
there's not a good experience for those players, including, you know, me occasionally, who wants to just play some single player. And I'm a helicopter guy. There's no great single player experience for helicopters right now. But yeah, this is getting a bit rambly. Um, preaching for my soapbox as well. It's not something I normally like to do, but I'm, I'm just kind of at a point where I want to discuss and see what other people think in trying to distill what gameplay experiences we want. Because Eagle Dynamics is really looking to want to shift to improve the game experience, but at the moment I'm not I'm not exactly, I don't want to say confident, but I'm not, I don't know where they're intending to go with this. And so I'm trying to find a way for the community to at least articulate what they're wanting from an experience that isn't just talking about what Falcon BMS has currently, and more what they want from a campaign experience from DCS. And I think when I boil down what I want, it's more just being able to lose myself in the illusion of being a helicopter pilot or a uh, fighter pilot but at the moment what they have just isn't sufficient and they know that and I guess that's it again rambly but thanks for watching I know for such a short video it was long-winded but yeah thanks <laughs>